Hi there. Well, everybody else is doing Timu hauls. I guess hauls the new word for shopping. So now do you have a haul addiction or is it still a shopping addiction? I don't know. Either way, pretty sure I've got whatever it is. So this is technically my second Timu order. My first one was only one item because I was just playing around with it and it was 99 cents. So I hit send and uh, it's a, a topper for the water bottles. So it's at work. Otherwise, I'd show you that. But what I am going to show you is my first big order. So this stuff is crazy quality for the money you pay. So I'm okay with uh, waiting a couple of like it takes like a just over a week most times to get here but they are really really good about telling you exactly when it's going to show up well they give you a range and then within once it gets closer they'll tell you they send you updates in the whole nine yards like it's 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 a pretty well put together system and also um if something goes on sale if you buy something and it goes on sale. I'm not sure the time frame. I've heard some of the other people on YouTube saying it was 90 days. So I'm not sure exactly the time frame. I'd have to look it up. But if you click on your order and something has changed price and has decreased in price, even after you've gotten it. I had one today. I placed an order today. I already had an item that they did a price adjustment on. And sometimes it's one or two cents, 10 cents. I mean, so one time I had one that was 81 cents. Like it may seem like pennies not worth it, but all those little pennies add up and it just goes against your balance and you know you're going to order again. So you might as well just hit credit my account and you can keep doing it. It's not like you only do it once. Like it'll, it'll notify you that something has gone down in price. So when it goes down in price, you just hit credit my account and then it'll go back in again, credit my account. So it's really not a bad system. Shipping's generally always free. I haven't paid for shipping yet. Um, there's so many foolish coupons that they give you and there's so many little ways that you pretty much are paying what it shows on the screen and generally less because by the time they're done with their coupons and their free shipping and whatnot, the amount of money you pay in tax tends to end up being offset by the coupons they give you. So it's really, it's a pretty good gig. So my first item I'm gonna show you, I had one of these a long time ago. I had gotten it from one of those home parties and it was kind of cruddy. It didn't last a long time. And I figured I'd get another one because you know, I, I use spray all the time on when I'm cooking. So this is one of the bottles for spraying and it's it's a nice hard plastic, but not that super hard. Like if you drop it, it's gonna crack immediately. The top is really heavy. And this was $2.48. So not a bad gig for $2.48. You just open it up. Put your oil in, put this back on. You gotta prime it a little bit. It's just like the, I mean, you can buy these in a lot of different places, but it's really nice. They come in, I think came in black or white. So the one I got was black because white gets a dirty fast and that just wasn't what I wanted. So when I went on and I started looking around, I didn't really have a focus. I was just like, like a kid in a candy store. I was like, ah, oh, I gotta get this and one of these, two of those, one of those. and. I didn't really have a reason. So since I have two more orders coming, uh, since I started doing that, I've been more focused, like working on my garden or kitchen stuff that I, I, I don't cook a lot, but when I do, I like the gadgets to help me do it. Um, I did get a new refrigerator not too long ago and they have these refrigerator mats. So you can put them down. They're easier to clean. You can take them out. I have glass shelves. I hate my glass shelves in my refrigerator. And I understand that's normal and that that's what people have now. I don't like it. Um, so I got these mats. There's four of them. And it was $1.58 for four mats. They had some that were colored. I got clear because 
I don't, there's no color scheme inside my fridge. So I just got clear. They have them. It comes in a couple of different colors. Um, it's a really nice little option. And one thing about Timu is because the prices change so often, just because I paid that price for something, you may not pay that exact price. It'll be right around there. Um, but again, the price could drop. You could catch it. They do lightning deals that are 99 cents or $1.98 or whatever. They'll pick a, a price point and they'll do a lightning deal. You can get some stuff for super, super cheap. And, you know, some of the stuff you don't realize that you need, like those shelves. Once I put these liners in, go through my fridge, clean out my fridge and put these liners in, I'm not going to have to worry about the glass shelves that I can't stand. Something tips over. I hate it. If you have put something in and there's like a glass jar, like pickles or whatever, and you go to, you know, you push everything in the fridge, you put it in the front, just push. Well, when you do that and then it tips over and it hits the glass shelf, I, I nothing's broken yet, but with these little liners, it's not going to do that anymore because A, it'll slide easier and B, it's not going to hit a glass shelf if it does tip over. So I'm kind of excited about those. I'm looking forward to using those. Um, I do craft shows. Anybody that doesn't know me, I do craft shows. I um, sell cups and a few other gifty things. But And my colors for my craft show are um, lime green and pink. And this is the exact pink. It's perfect pink. So these are just super cute little tags and I believe there is a hundred in here um and these were a dollar 18 so I think that's a heck of a price for these and I will use them and then it'll just make everything look nice because everything will match so these I paid a dollar 78 for these and you know what? If I get through one gardening season with them, I will be all right with it. But these things just look like they're going to be a lot of fun and functional. I like things that are fun and functional. So it's got the, you know, so you can dig and you can root around in your dirt. And they're stretchy. I have tiny hands, so things are always too big on me. Um, so it's kind of nice that they have the little tips on them because then... You can't see how small my hands are, um, but these are these are these are definitely going to be functional and fun, and I will get a lot of use out of them. So, pretty excited about those. And I've been waiting for this stuff because I was debating whether I would do reviews. I've seen so many people doing reviews, and but at the same time, watching the reviews is what me, what made me go on Timu and order. So I've been watching the reviews. And I was like, uh, I think, you know, just for the heck of it, I'm going to throw my hat into the ring and I'm going to do some, um, do a couple of reviews more. So just showing you what they are right now. And then down the road, once I start using this stuff, I'll let you know how I liked it and how it worked out. But so far I'm pretty happy with everything. Um, so this thing, this was $2.98 and there is... Uh, I think 24 pieces in here. So if they're like the command strips. So for hanging pictures, you just you know, take two of them off, put them together, and then you can hang your like photographs on the wall and they just pull right back off. So um, I'll let you know how these are. I have old walls. Um, so we'll see how they, how they work. If it, if it's good, if they go together easily and if they don't, wasn't much, much to lose if they don't. That's the good thing about this stuff is if you try it and it's not good, you're not losing what you would if you bought something to try and it was much more expensive. So I'm not really worried about spending a couple of bucks and trying something and having it not work. But um, I'll keep you posted down the road to let you know how they work. These little things, they're little um, tape measures. I have one that I use for all of my cups because I'm always measuring, double checking, seeing how things go. 
And on the one I have, which I don't even know where it came from, uh, but I use it a lot. And probably because it's old, the end pulled off. And so I had kind of stuck something on the end of it. But um, once this magical little tab goes away, this just sucks right up into there. And then, it, you know, you can still use it and take the plastic out. But the whole point of this is it's nice because it, you know, you just hit the button, it goes back in. And, and it's nice and neat in one place. And this was 79 cents. But I did find that when I bought these, I wanted three of them. I wanted one for upstairs, one for in my shop, and then one as a backup in case for 68 cents or 78 cents or whatever they were, they, you know, didn't work out or weren't quality. So I bought three of them just to see how they would go. They're all three different prices. When I bought one, like I said, this one was 79 cents. When I bought one, when I clicked on two, it didn't double the 78 cents. Like you got one for 78 cents and then the other one was like $1.25 or whatever. So some things, and I think that's probably those lightning deals. Some things when you do them, the price, you have to watch, be, be mindful when you buy them. So all I did was just, I just found two on other ones and I just bought one of three different ones. So they weren't all the same. One was 79, one was 78, one was 68, but still well worth it. So this next thing um, there, it's a, it's a 20 inch, 20 inch necklace, um, just like a, like a faux leather, faux suede kind of. And there are Oh, I can't tell what it says here. 30 pieces. I can't tell. I have old eyes. So there's quite a bit of them. I can see there's quite a few of them. Um, and they're like suede. They're all 20 inches. And I get them. I have a lot of... I went through a phase where I bought paparazzi jewelry like it was my job. And sometimes I like the really long necklaces, but I'm kind of short. So when I did the really long necklaces, uh, I like if I liked the charm that was on them, I couldn't wear the long necklaces. Like some people can wear them. Um, they're really, you know, they hang down past their chest. I couldn't do that because then when I walk, it just goes ting, ting, ting like a bell. And I didn't like that at all. So I got these uh, so that I can hang some of those um you know, some of the the charms or the the different necklaces, or if I had one and I broke one. Um, so I just got these to have just so that I could, um, you know, either fix necklaces or I do when I work with the epoxy, sometimes I'll make pendants. And so these are just good to put those on. Um, you know, I'm not spending a lot of money on on chains and necklaces for an item that I'm selling for five dollars so it looks pretty nice pretty sturdy and um so I thought I'd give them a shot see how they were see how I like them for myself uh these I paid a dollar 98 and they're three bottles comes in a pack of three these are for when I'm doing the glitter globe tumblers or the the tumblers where I have to put a liquid down inside if I'm using the the Elmer's Magic Liquid. So it's it's a bottle, but it has a needle, and it is it is a um, an actual needle. I don't know if you can really see that too much, but it's an actual needle tip on there, um, so that if I need to use it to inject down into the cups. Um, I can use these and then I can also clean them and use them again. So I haven't yet found the right tool for doing those, those cups. Um, some people do them, you know, you watch some of the YouTube videos and you never know when someone's doing a video, if it's their first time or their 45th time, but they all make it look so easy and you're like, oh, I'm pretty clever. I can do that. So I, um, I bought these to give it a shot because I haven't found the right tool yet. Same, uh, 
partially speaking to my shopping addiction, partially speaking to supplies I already have on hand. And if you're a crafter, you know you buy supplies for things you're going to do eventually. I do have all the stuff and I've made candles in the past, but I stopped making them because I ran out of wicks. Well, here's a nice big pack of wicks. And these were $2.18. And it says that there are... You know, next time I'm going to go through and I'm going to write down, I wrote the prices on them because I'm like, oh, I'll be all ready and I'll write the prices on them. But um, I want to say, because I can't see this number, I think it says it's 100 wicks, $2.18. And these are long. These are like, like I, said, I have little hands, but um, these are good size wicks. But I bought the longest ones purposely because I have some candle jars that are really small and I have some candle jars, like sometimes you'll make them in mason jars, and those are much taller. But I don't want to have to buy two different sizes, so I just bought the long ones, and I can cut them. And that'll work out fine. So for $2.18, well worth it. And they're the pre-waxed kind. They have the little metal on the bottom. So they're, they're really nice. They're, you know, I, you're not going to get this at Michael's for $2.18. Uh, here's another one of my tape measures. I got a green one. This one was 68 cents. And there's another one in here somewhere. Um, oh, here's the last one. 69 cents for this one. Same thing. So these are both, you can see they're both, they're, they're the same thing. They're the same color. Everything about them is the same. They're from two different sellers. So they look different. So that's why they're different prices. But they're the same thing. Same color, same everything. Then I bought these, and one of the things I will highly recommend when you do this, pay attention. Be mindful of the sizes. Uh, because I'm like, oh, when I saw these, this is one of the first things I saw, like when Facebook advertised Timu, and it says on it, it says, handmade with love. And... So I'm like, oh, how cute those will look on my bags when, you know, because I just use plain white bags that I put my cups in when I sell them or my product. So I'm like, oh, how cute with this? It'll say handmade with love. I can just slap it on there. It'll be really cute. And then when I saw how big they were, they are, you know, they're probably the size of a nickel. In my mind, they were the size of a half dollar, you know. In my mind, they were this big. They were not that big in real life. So that's 100% on me for not reading the size because I went back and looked after I got them. And I'm like, yeah. So you know what? Not, they, it wasn't a them problem. It was a me problem. This was the most expensive thing I bought. And i sorry, I keep leaning on my table. I'm just making the camera shake. This is the most expensive thing I bought. This was... Eight dollars and nine cents. I do not like when I'm working with epoxy. I do not like to be constantly throwing stuff away. So I try to use silicone whenever I can because I don't like. You know, some people will mix them in just like a Dixie cup or a, a Solo cup. I don't like doing that because I I want as little trash as possible for something that I'm gonna. If it was something. You're doing a project, you know, you're painting or whatever. You're, you're doing it once. It doesn't matter if you use a cup that you're going to throw away. I do epoxy, you know, a couple times a week. I've gotten more into sublimation now, so not as much. But still, I would much rather have something that I can use, wash, and reuse. Um, just because I just really like that idea. So this set comes with, I'm going to take everything out of the bowl. So you get a big, a big silicone bowl. This is 20 fluid ounces at this mark. I don't think you would fill it any higher than that. So 20 ounces, I mean, that's a lot of epoxy. You're not going to need to mix that much epoxy too many times for the projects I do. If you're doing tables or pouring boards or whatever, maybe you'll do a little more. But for me, this is plenty big enough. 
It also comes with these little finger cots, the little, you know, you put them on the tip of your finger to spread your epoxy. I'm not coordinated enough. I use gloves because when I put these on, you know, I some people can put them on and just brush their epoxy on. I'm a, I'm a whole hand spreader. So these... These are more likely going to go on my work desk if I have to go through papers. But honestly, these days, who uses paper anymore? So I probably won't use these much. I'm sure there'll be a reason to use them. But for the most part, this was just a bonus that came with the, the package. These little gems I use all the time. Every single time. One is part A, one is part B. I wash them with baby wipes as soon as I'm done. So the ones I have, I've been doing cups for five or six years now, and I've only bought two sets of these. This would be my third set because the first, like I, I do have one that is still good. I'm still using it, but the very first set I buy, after a while, the, the silicone does break down and they do get a little like crunchy. So it was time for a new set and I did need a new big mixing bowl. So I, I would have paid $8 for these. I know you can get them on Amazon. Um, I honestly don't remember what I paid for them, but this was such a nice little kit for $8. And then it has these two little, there's two of these. I don't know. They look like they're maybe a tablespoon. They're not, there's not a whole lot of, it, it doesn't really say, but I mean, they are just the tiniest little, they, I, I like seriously, if it's, if it's more than a tablespoon, I'd be surprised. It's, it's little, but if I was making jewelry or something, it's got the nice little pouring spout. So I, I could see these being handy and there's two of them. So that was part of the set. Um, it also came with uh, pipettes, five pipettes. I buy these when I used to use them all the time, like with alcohol inks or whatever. I buy these by the gross. So five of them didn't really matter, but you know what? It came with the set, so it's okay. Um, I use, I use, I used to use those a lot. I don't really use them much anymore. What really intrigued me about this set, though, and what really I was really looking for, and I can't wait to try it. These are little tiny silicone sticks. It's basically like it looks to be about the size of a popsicle stick but it's silicone. I'm super excited about these because when you stir your silicone, when you stir your epoxy with silicone, you don't get as many bubbles and bubbles are the bane of my existence. So I'm pretty excited about these. I can't wait to try this kit. Um, I've got, I've got probably, I got six cups I'll have turning this weekend. So I'm going to give it a shot. I'll see what those, what those are for, how they work, how I like them. Um, these were 78 cents and there is 10 of them. They're just little 3M stickers, little, um, they're very, they're, they're not flat. It's not like a piece of double-sided tape, but let me open it up and show you. If you're just, if you want something like I was going to do, I do, when I do sublimation, I do, um, the little discs that go on phone grips and 3M is really what you want holding anything on. So it's, you can see it, it's a little thick, um, but not, it's thicker than a piece of tape, but not too thick that I don't think it'll work. And before I sell anything, I always try it on my own. Um, I have, I have a, a Kate Spade bag that I just got last uh, month for my birthday. And I, I bought, well, my girls bought it for me, the, the purse, the wallet, and the phone case. Well, I needed, um, a, because the phone case I had before, that one had the, the credit card thing in the back. So I had made, I wanted a pop socket because with this, it didn't have anything to hold. Like there was nothing to hold the phone up. So I wanted a phone grip to put on the, the phone. So I took a picture on my bag and I printed it out and I sublimated it onto a disc. So I made a, um, 
I made a phone grip that matched my purse, my phone case, my wallet, all that. Um, but I needed these little 3M discs to hold it on because I don't always pay attention when I'm buying and they're here somewhere on the table. Um, the little discs that I bought for sublimation for the phone grips or really any other little just, it's it, they're just little metal discs and you can put them on whatever you needed to. They don't have any adhesive with them. So I figured I'd try these, see if I liked them. If I like them, I'll buy them again. These three, they were all 71 cents each. They are earring molds for epoxy. I'll take them out of the package. Um, there is a puppy print, a paw print, a heart, and like they you can't say the M word, so it's mouse ears. Um, but they're generic. So here's the little, the little paw prints, and I have paw um, glitter, like the big chunky glitter. So I can put a paw in and then I will put the the epoxy and then I'll put the earring back in. But there's this one. And then for the next one of these I'll do, I'll have everything open, but I thought it would be nice if I didn't have it open and you can see how they were packaged. Because some things are definitely packaged better than other things. But this order had a lot of silicone silicone in it, so it didn't really matter if it was perfectly packaged. And then there's the little hearts. And then the last one. Oh, I had opened this one already. This is the, the, the mouse ears. So I've got those three, um, three little earring molds. I had great intention of getting some made for the craft fair this weekend, but they probably won't be till the next one. So then I had this. This was a total whim purchase. It was 98 cents, but it was cute. And I'm like, oh, it'll be something I can do with it. It's just a silicone mold for a heart keychain. I have all the keychain supplies, so this is really just, I needed this because then I could use up some of the supplies I already have. So see, it was a whim purchase, but it was a really good idea. So I do have lots of heart glitter, um, but I could make this with anything, any color. I have hundreds of colors of inks and mica powders and the amount of things I could make with this are endless. Um, but I am looking forward to trying these little, the earring molds and this keychain mold with the UV resin. See if I like that. Um, they had a really great price on UV resin on Timu. And it was the exact brand I bought on Amazon. Package looked the same and everything. And um, the only thing that stopped me from buying it was, I haven't opened the one I have already. So in case I fall in love with it and I really like it, then I will, I will order more from Timu instead of from Amazon. Uh, this looks like it is my last item. It is. So this, I saw quite a few. I Now, I watched before I bought from Timu the first time. I watched probably 25 videos of people who had bought stuff. And some of the things I was looking at, I'm like, oh, well, I could use that. Or, you know... I'm glad I saw some of these things in reviews because I would not have thought when I looked at it, when I looked at it and saw it on the app, I was like, oh, that's that thing so-and-so bought or that's that thing, you know, that that other lady bought. So this, you get two of them. There's, it's a package of two and they were 98 cents, right? It's just a little piece of like hard, you know, it's flexible. So it's like hard rubber. You take this side, you put the adhesive, put this like on your KitchenAid and wind your cord around. And then your, your cord snaps right into this little hole back there. So on my KitchenAid, I have my cord running around and then I sort of just tuck it into it. But with this, it'll be all nice and neat and I won't be 
I won't have to unwind, you know, as it is now, I have to, you know, open the top, take the bowls off and then unwind it. And so with this, I won't have to. And I only bought two, it's a pack of two. I only bought two because I do have other things like, you know, I mean, the coffee pot only gets unplugged for a few hours at a time, quite honestly. Um, so there's a couple other things that I probably could use this on. Uh, so I only, but I only bought two because sometimes I know myself and I'm like, oh, that's super cute. And I think that's a great idea. But then again, I look at them and I'm like, am I really going to use it? So I only got two. So that's it for this, this uh, haul, my order, this last order. Um, I'm thinking that I wanted to do some of these reviews uh, for different things. Like Timu, I don't want to order from them every week. I mean, if they sponsored me like they do some of these other people and I'm shopping with someone else's money, I'm going to try a lot of things. But they're not because I'm a nobody and I'm not, well, I shouldn't say I'm a nobody. I'm not a somebody yet, but I was thinking, you know what? I'm looking for something new to do. So I thought I'd get on this. I sell cups, lots and lots of cups. I started getting into sublimation. I do glass etching. I do epoxy. Um, so I have a lot of blanks. I only buy from hog, uh, hog cups. I have just this, this brand, hog brand. Um, I only buy her stuff. I don't mess around with anybody else's blanks. Her quality is 100%. I've never had a problem. She takes good care of me. Whenever there's an issue, and I'm not just me, anyone who orders from her, her customer service is off the chart. So I started thinking, you know, I had a couple of customers ask me, um, like one lady recently asked me about the four-in-one coolers. I sell more of those than I sell of anything else, it seems. Um, and she said the only review she could find online was of someone saying that the cups leaked when you put the lid on because it's a, a four in one is, uh, I have one here, so I'm going to show you because I'm going to end up doing, I'll do a separate video just on hogs, but um, this new one I've had a, a lot of requests for, so I'm... I ordered, I just ordered a bunch more because I had sold all the ones I had, but this four in one, this one is a little different. This is the four in one, but this one has the Bluetooth speaker in the bottom of it. Hell of a sound coming out of a little tiny speaker. And it's nice. It's not waterproof. It tells you right on the tag that it comes with. It's water resistant and it gives a number. Um, I don't want to open this one up, but it gives a number and it tells you. So basically, if you're shooting a direct stream of water at it, your speaker's going to get wet. But if you're not shooting a direct stream of water at it, like if you're, like I I would assume if you drop it, if you drop it in, you're kayaking, you drop it in, it's going to sink, so it's not going to matter. Um, but if you're just like by the pool and someone splashes, this is still going to be okay because it's it's water resistant. But anyway, I, I, I digress. <laughs> the the thing about a foreign one, it if you look inside, you can see there's different ribs, different, like they're notches kind of. So this foreign one, it's called a foreign one because with this black lid on the top, it is a koozie and it's this is stainless steel, this is sublimatable. So I can I can put any picture you want on it pretty much. Um, this holds a, a regular bottle, like a, you know, a, just a glass bottle of beer. It holds a tall skinny can like your Trulies or, you know, the little skinny seltzer cans. It holds a regular can, like just your regular 12 ounce can. And then when you're done with that, you take that lid off and you put this lid on and it just screws right on. And then it has a drink lid on it. So it's a 15 ounce drink cup. Um, all cups come with a straw. So this just has the sliding lid on it. So you can open it, close it. Um, not If you have it closed and you don't have a straw in it and it tips over, you got a second to pick it up before it, it spills. It's not, it's not um, 
waterproof or I can't think of the right, that's not the word I'm looking for. It's not um, spill proof. If you tip it over, it's spill resistant. Uh, Cause again, it's, it's just, it has this, this lid on it, but if it's closed and there's no straw in it and you tip it over, you got a quick second to pick it up. These things are awesome too. And I laugh cause I have a lot of people who will say to me, like I have, let me just put that one aside. These little wine cups. I think these things are adorable. They're the perfect little size. I have tiny hands. I can hold this. And these are 12 ounce. So a can of soda is going to fit in here. Not if you put ice in it. You're not going to fit the whole 12 ounces in, but it's got 12 ounces. Um, so I love, these are just really nice. But I have people say to me, Oh, my mom doesn't drink wine. The beauty of these cups, if you pour soda in it, it's not going to reject it because it's a wine glass. And if you put wine in it, it's still going to be the same. Um, it is going to keep your drink hot or cold longer than you're ever going to need it to. You can put coffee in it. It's these things are great. I love this product. So I will do a full review on all the hogs that I have in stock. And if you could see the other side of this camera right now, you'd understand I have a lot of these cups in stock. But I have a show this weekend and these things sell pretty well. So that's why I try to keep them in stock. Because if you come to a show to see me and you say, oh, hey, I want this or this. If it's a sublimation item, most of the time, I can go home and take care of that for you right after the craft fair. So like, you know, let's say you see me at a craft fair and you're like, oh, hey, you know, I've got a party to go to tomorrow. This would be the perfect gift. You know, could you put like a picture of her dog on it or whatever? Um, there's a good chance if you're local to me that I'm going to be able to make that up and have it to you in plenty of time for you to you know, have it and get it to your party and whatnot. So that's a whole other video though. I, I could, I could talk. That's what I do. I talk for hours. So I will do a video on the hogs next, next time. Um, but I just wanted to do this Timu haul because I think that, um, it's definitely worth checking out. Yes. It's all made in China. Um, some of this stuff you're probably not going to find made in the USA because, I, I mean, I'm sure you could, but honestly, I'm not looking to spend more than a dollar for a measuring tape, especially if it's going to break. And I have tons, tons of measuring tapes, like the metal kind doesn't work for what I need. I need something super flexible. I need something that goes around glass. I need something that when I'm, when I'm measuring you know, like this, I need to have something that that's flexible and can can go around all the contours and curves. Um, so I'm not looking to spend a lot of money on that. Um, some things, my hogs, my cups, I'm going to spend the money on those. Um, they're very reasonably priced, but I want to give up if something like that is a product that I'm going to turn around and sell. I want quality. If I'm looking for a measuring tape, it doesn't necessarily have to be quality. Although I have a feeling, I mean, if that little tab on the end doesn't break, those things will last forever. Like I said, that one I have that I was using, I don't even remember buying it. But um, I'm getting a little long-winded here, so I'm gonna, gonna give this, call this one a day. Um, it's my first video, so be kind to me. I wasn't sure. I'm not even sure this will actually end up making it onto YouTube because now I'm looking at myself and realizing that I probably should have taken the pen out of my hair. And then uh, I might have looked a little less end of the workday kind of look. So we'll see. I don't have any catchphrases yet. I don't have any, 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 you can see my background is just my wall behind me because kind of just thought I'd give this a shot and see how it goes. I've had a YouTube channel for a thousand years because in order to watch YouTube back in the day, I don't know if it's still the same way, but you had to have an account. So I have an account. So I thought, wow, you know, I might as well 
might as well start to use it. So I am going to send this video to my friend and she's going to watch it. And then she's going to tell me if I should upload it. And if I shouldn't upload it or she thinks I should redo something else, I can just take this whole pile and put it back in the bag. <laughs> and I can uh, try for round two. But so far we're on round one. So um, let me know what you think. Um, this will be my first one. So I don't... Uh, I could maybe put a link to the app. I'm not sure. I don't really know what kind of links it will do you to get from this, but uh, it's my first one. So just uh, be kind to me. All right, guys. Thanks. And I will see you in the next video.